two weeks later, I get a random ass phone call. I'm like, yeah, uh, they said they found your daddy dead in a in a um in a abandoned house. He'd been dead for three weeks. So I'm like, what? So now I'm like, the fuck you mean he dead? Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? It was smoking and somebody pop. Like, I don't know what's going on. She's like, yeah, I don't know, but he, he had my money though. I never really had anybody that I, I'm not going to say look up to, but like I could run to for advice or like tell me if I'm, you know what I mean, fucking up or something. So I had to learn everything, at, you know, as life came to me. So as far as like, like funerals, like that's what kind of helped me to stick on the right path. Um, like the music from funerals, I would always remember the music from the funerals and know that that my time is coming and this music is going to be played, right? So I would play that music to humble myself, like, nigga, um, this shit can happen to you. So it, it'll help me throughout the day to make sound decisions um, for the most part. If that makes sense. A lot of people start their day off like in prayer or they may stay it off start it off in like with motivational stuff like that, but you using funeral music is interesting. And what type of funeral music you talking about? You talking about like boys, what's that called? Boys to men type funeral music, or are you talking about them organs playing? Any of it. Um uh, I've never heard boys to men at, at the funeral, but I could see. I could see it. So say before you get there, right? Um, what, what's the name of it? Uh, the, 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 the viewing, wake. Uh, the viewing, you know, so the music that's being played through, uh -huh. through here, I, 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 I will never forget that music. That's, it's in my head on a day-to-day -day basis. What's so, like, if I'm about to argue with somebody or something, it'll help me to realize it's not that serious. That makes sense. What? You can be there. You know what I mean? You can be dead by some of these decisions that you make. You could be dead or somebody else could. How long you been like that? Uh, maybe about a year or two. Oh, so it ain't. It yeah, it ain't been. No, it ain't. It ain't. Oh, that's. It ain't been. Uh, so funerals, in a sense, kind of helps me and keeps me grounded. You know, I hate them, but at the same time, uh, it, it's you know it. That's we got. We all got that promise. So, yeah. and then at, at my funeral, I will hope that people would be there and. and and show me love. So by going to all these funerals, it helps me to change how I am pseudo because people will remember the last time they seen you. Or of course they remember some shit you done did for them back in the past, but how you make people feel, uh, like going to tea funeral. You know what I mean? It was all it was all love. Like I, I would want that same shit. So it it, it allows me to kind of change um, how I react, how I talk, you know, uh, not winning every argument. Um, if it, if it's even an argument, but it's like just winning anything, period. Like, it's not that serious. Rest in peace, T. Irvin. For sure. Uh -huh. Can you remember the first fly? Oh, I thought you said ha-ha. I'm like. Bro, y'all got to stop doing that. Every time I say something, never mind. But, uh, um. Can you remember the first time you, your very first funeral? Because I'm trying to figure out why at this, was was it just a regular death or was it a street death? You know, somebody getting killed or something like that. It's a little bit of both. Uh-huh. Uh, it, it wasn't one particular funeral that it happened at, but basically like funerals, like... Well, I'm not saying that it happened at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying the very first funeral you went to, what, what? I didn't take it in. I couldn't take it in. I think it was my grandpa. Okay. But I was young, so it wasn't, it wasn't, I didn't understand it all like that. I understood it, but not on the grown sense. I was probably thinking about candy, what I'm going to do when I'm going to leave. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't, it didn't hit me until once I got older, once my first squeak, only squeak passed. Uh-huh. So old? that's the first, how old was I? Yeah. 
I'm, I'm bad with ages. Man, like, Teenager. What year? Uh, this is when we got out of school. Probably a couple years after we got out of school. Yeah. So. So. Yeah, around that age, it's like damn. So that was the first person that died that I actually knew was cool with. To so to see how that hits. You know, um, and it really hit me hard with him because I started to distance myself from people. <laughs> so I'm like, bro, I'm about to get away from people for a minute, bro. I need to get my shit together. Right after that, he died. So now sometimes I hate when I get in that mode. Like, yeah, I need to get in my, I need to get in my bed. I need to, you know what I mean? Like, I'd be scared something gonna happen. But now when you do it more so when you separate yourself from people, you don't let that keep you from doing it, right? Definitely you, does. Still to this day. So if somebody passes, just because you wasn't within their energy or w- w- within their cipher at that time, you find you find something wrong with you? Not some find something wrong with me, but more so... You can't shut yourself down from everybody to try to get yourself together. Me, a lot of people can, but me, I'm a uh, tomorrow's not promised dude to to the max. Mm-hmm. You know, so I try not to trip off certain stuff. Can't help it though. You know what I mean? But like, bro, we not promised tomorrow. Hey, get get right with that, and I cannot get that right. Can't get it right, even though I need to. I can't. My pride won't let me do it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But you can't find peace like that. Exactly. Which is why that's, it's a struggle. Yeah. At what point do you put yourself first, though? Um, cause Never. You don't think that's a problem? It, I, yeah, it's a problem. Yeah. Do you think you could truly serve people if you don't put yourself first? Like, really be, like, serving people wholeheartedly without thinking, like, oh, I'm doing this and doing that. I should be doing this and that for me. I think you still could do it wholeheartedly, but you can do it with a lot more, um, I can't say meaning, but... Joy if you was taking care of yourself first. Yeah, like if I had $2 and I bought somebody on the street some McDonald's, I'm still doing that wholeheartedly. Now, should I have done it? Being that I'm broke, you know, you should do it when you're more rich, but like... I I just really recently found out I'm here to help. Yeah. I never knew my purpose. So my purpose is, I feel like it's to help. I feel like that's all of our purpose, but in different ways, of course. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know their purpose, though. Yeah. a lot. I mean, some people is to help. Um, what are the ways you think people purpose is? What well, other purposes? I think, that you think all people's purpose is to help. It's just help in different ways. Like, let's say, for instance, where your help might be through music or through going to boys and girls clubs and stuff like that and talking to kids or something. Mine might be through just podcasting and making my voice heard through that way. So or, that's what I'm saying. So that's yeah. different. Um, some people's purpose is to be a mechanic. Yeah. Uh, to be a musician. Yeah. Uh, mine's is to actually help. It's not to do music, not to do this. I get a joy in in helping people though. Helping people, and I get what you I you making a separation in the help, like versus right, yeah, your yeah, yeah, purpose, yeah, purpose. Your purpose, your helping purpose versus you just helping in everything you see that people may need help with. Not everything, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. The part my purpose that made sense is to. You know, really sit there and help. I've been helping people forever. Yeah. Uh, and that's one thing that's been consistent in my life. You know, it, it ain't without uh, getting something in return or something like that. No, it, it's never been that. It's just It was just automatic. You seem to keep track of these things, though. Why? Not that I keep track, but being that um, I noticed it. So it's not keeping track. It's just I notice, like, okay, I do this, I do that. I always help them. That's my purpose. You know, so it's not like I do something and I tally it down. Mm -hmm. I can just date back throughout my whole life. If I can look at something that I do consistently, um, that's not negative, it's helping. So it helped me to, okay, I remember I did that, I remember I did that, without, without nothing. You know what I mean? 
So not like I'm just I'm I'm just I uh, helped another nigga today. Sorry, not nigga, but helped you know what I mean, helped another person today. Like sh- <laughs> shot that down. I'm gonna help today. It just it just organically happened. Yeah. But it it does bother you, even though you don't you'll still go back to helping that same person that you may felt done you wrong. For sure. So it does still bother you in a way because you'll go back to like I help cuz do this and you know what I'm saying? No. You're saying you don't? No. You don't? No. No, that uh, that that don't. Me, if you're going to, that's like letting somebody borrow something. You got to, you either going to get it back or you're not. You can't mm-hmm. really trip off of it. Um, mm-hmm. And that's just one of those things. I'm not one of them, where, well, I help dude do this and he treat me like that. Everybody different. I, you, I might help for whatever reason I'm helping for. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I can't expect somebody to treat me like I treat them. That's not, that's not how that works to me. You know, everybody, I treat, treat somebody like how you want to be treated. Like, I don't really agree with that. I don't like that. You don't believe in treat somebody how you want to be treated? They may not treat you that way, but... You That's what did. I'm saying. I won't be hurt if you didn't treat Got me you. like Got I you. treated you. You know, you. I do it for a whole nother reason than somebody else might do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. You go, going back to the uh, funeral thing, you, uh, you, you have action in the streets, right? You have, you've had action in the street, not sexual action. I'm talking about just, you've had your play around in the street yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So the first time you lost Squeak, yeah. why you don't think that pulled you away from what you were doing? Or did you continue to do it? I mean, you continued to do what you were doing in the streets or moving how you moved. I wasn't really in the streets per se like that. Uh, I was around it. But I wasn't you was per se in it. Yeah. So yeah. it ain't it wasn't nothing. I had. my issues was dealing with people I I, sh- I ain't gonna say I shouldn't be around. You know, um I, I didn't grow up to have to be around that, you know. Mom's seen to it that I, I was not in the street, so she did everything she could to keep a roof over our head. And, and I didn't have to live to be in the streets, if, if that makes sense. No, it makes sense. Um, so I was always around the right people. Well, what made you associate with the people? What do you think led you that way? Could it have been lack of a father in the home? or could That's you... it. Yeah, I didn't have no guidance. I didn't yeah. have any guidance. Mom's pretty much worked hard for us to make sure she raised us. But she's that she's more of a shower. She don't she's not more of a, a talking lover. Got it. You know what I mean? It, it's not like, oh I hug you, I love you. It wasn't that. So what she was doing I didn't understand until now. You know what I mean? She was, you know, taking care of us. Uh we might have to go over to aunties in them house. I didn't understand that back then that she had to work nights. Or work two jobs plus go to school. Mm-hmm. I'm just shit. I'm just over here at my auntie house. You know what I mean? So, and that helped out a lot too because it, it was kids there. So it was all of us. It was all you know. My cousins down there like brothers and sisters. So I was around that. So I I, I didn't have to be in the streets. So I wasn't in the streets. Mm-hmm. But you associated with it. associated with it because I was from there. Um, but like far as like the activities from it, I didn't really do that until I got older. Yeah. Um, helping people. Hey, give me a ride here. I bet. Um, so I had a car. I want a Pioneer radio. I know a nigga that's still. Should just take me, uh, go steal some nigga. Should I, you know, I'll get you one. Oh, nigga, say less. So we pulling up, hit niggas for, for radios. Yeah. Beat. Selling it. You know what I mean? So it was, the, I'm not thinking nothing of it though. Like these people worked hard for their shit and you run around stealing their shit. Yeah. So you, you never, so you started to get into stealing or you just taking the person to do it? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did yeah. you start to get into it yourself? No, I'm not. I wouldn't be a good dude. So you. <laughs> I got you. So it's somehow I fall like hey, on movies. Man, I, I, I stole it, bro. I ain't going to do that. Yeah. Now you can, I could have it in my hand. I'm just, I did not steal it. Oh, you think you'll just fall or something like that? I'm, I'm going to fall. Yeah. I'm going to. Twist my ankle, my shoe string, get caught underneath the car. Something stupid would happen to me for sure. Yeah. 
you've been a part of a a, a lot of shit in, as far as like a, by association or whatever. When did you start to like, man, this shit is this shit is just getting too wicked for me? Because you didn't have to be there in the first place, like you said. You were you were from a day one good basketball player. Yeah. You didn't have, you said mom's was on her thing to where you didn't have to really, you know what I'm saying? But I would guess, your big bro, how old is your big bro? He much older than you? No, he is 40. Yeah, that's, he, so he ain't much older than you. No, uh-uh, he's 40. So you still. And, perfect, perfect big brother. And so perfect, now you bro, just. Didn't cuss, didn't, you know what I mean? Um, he used to slap you outside your head? Mom. Hell no, that's what I'm saying. I was his favorite player. You know what I mean? Like the perfect, like if you wanted a big brother that that you can kind of look up to, mm-hmm. not even kind of like really look up to. He did everything the right way. He got married, ready to have sex till he got married. Uh, been in the reserves since he got out of school. Like just, you know what I mean? For as a big brother, there's nothing negative I could pick up from him. So why you didn't follow him? Everybody different, bro. No, I know, but you know how we I didn't all... like ROTC. I was in ROTC for one year. And I'm just, I was just a goofy dude. So I'm sitting here doing this, and I'm liable to bust a pop block. You know what I mean? Just, stu- just goofy, just yeah. stupid. I was flat-footed. I can't sit still. Yeah. For You know what I mean? So about phase. I'm like, bro, it, it ain't too many more of these I'm about to be doing. I don't see how you like this, bro. Because it, it's just weird that you didn't care to get into the stealing or care to get into the actual streets. But your, your brother, who quote unquote did no wrong or whatever. Not saying he didn't do no wrong, but you get what I'm saying for the most part. And you kinda you I'm trying to wonder why you didn't look up to him like as far as like because what I did. Okay. Uh I think you can still look up to people, but you you just completely different. Y'all just so different. different. I like you I think music is what did it, honestly. It had to be because you didn't watch movies music. like that. I hella watched movies back then. So you did watch movies. Yeah, I watched just not, not black movies. Just not the, the we ain't gonna go there, but I watched people under the stairs. Uh, so how we grew up, I just can't watch what I want to watch. We was growing up with a big family, so we was more cartoons, uh, Mortal Kombat, and we was playing games. We was actually outside, hopscotch, double dutch. You know what I mean? We was really on that family oriented. Uh, we got a hanger, put it up on the wall, bought us some socks. We hooping, yeah. crib. Uh, so we were more active. I, I feel like, which is why we didn't just really sit down and watch movies. I remember watching Scooby Doo, uh, VR Troopers. You know what I mean? Like the movies wasn't wasn't it all like that? Can you remember? I don't know if you anything like that, but can you remember? Catching the thrill by looking at something and wanting to be a part of it. Yeah, porn. Okay. <laughs> That's probably every dude, bro. That's probably every dude. You get what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not, not, we ain't talking about porn. Okay. Um, about getting a thrill. Not really. Not really, but I will say being a part of some of those thrills, I didn't shy away from it. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want to, like, let me out the car type shit. Is like, that a I, loyalty thing? No, I just thought that was, like that. I guess you could say that was a thrill. Say we on a high speed or something, I would have more fun with that more than being scared. Thrill. Then, like... Being scared that another car could T-bone y'all. Mm-hmm. I didn't process and think about that. Like even, I used to say, well, I'm never going to wreck. Man, your car, your tire could fall off. You know what I mean? Like you can drive careful as you want to be, but that's not going to stop you from wrecking you. So I was naive to, like, it's only going to happen. Shit, because I'm driving cool. You know what I mean? No, I didn't have my wheel fall off on the highway. I didn't got uh, hit from the back. Sitting at the light, you know, so it was other way, like, oh, okay, I'm sure I was way off, you know, so. Hey, your mama uh, was a type that was inviting to, like, people coming through your crib and stuff like that. Yeah. So she, 
it never got to a point where she was like checking who was coming to her house. Not really, but she did have her warrant. She didn't care for. You know, I ain't gonna say care for, but she was like, eh. You know, I ain't never like mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But I think she looked at it as in, at least I'm home. And just not out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But back then you can kinda you could be out without a worry like we like we are now. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think it was a bunch of access to guns. I wasn't just around just a bunch of BS all like that. Everything I got around is it's because I put myself in those situations. Yeah. Um, through, say I'm hanging with you, but we going over to so-and-so house. I know you, but I'm over there with you. Now me and him cool. We not cool all like that, but we cool enough to, if I got snakes, I would understand it. Like, this wasn't my guy, though, for real. Out the, It wasn't my guy, really, though. Mm -hmm. you know? So just understanding that now. So I, I take everything in because, like I said, I wasn't taught. Nothing. Oh, like that to learn them all. Point top, man. Looking back, can you uh, can you think or can you remember like certain moments where you started to feel like your pops not being there is a thing? You get what I'm saying? Like, that didn't hit me, bro, until I had my son. Really? Yeah. Because I, I never had them, so I never knew. Like, oh, this is because I ain't got a pops. Well, certain stuff, like, uh, I'm not quick to fix nothing. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, like, bro, have a tool, have a jack, have a, you know. Um, and I and I notice it far as arguing. I think with that, like, arguing with, like, more of what, I ain't going to say more with men, but, like, I ain't about to listen to you all. I listen to you, but I don't really care bro like we, we can get into it nigga. like not heavy but like there was not enough respect for men I feel like you didn't have respect no, for men not enough but, I had it but not enough but some because I remember around the time when your father passed away yeah. you seemed to find forgiveness to, for him or something like that yeah or you like you seem to embrace who your father was. Right. Why? Because I got a son now, right? He can feel that same way about me down the line. You know, something can happen. And say I'm not around enough. I got to be forgave for that. You know, uh, I'm noticing that though now. Like I spend more time in the lab or I was podding 24 seven than I'm spending at home with my kids. Mm -hmm. So I get to know, I, and that's why I got to know the stat, like, man, what are you teaching them? You so busy teaching yourself how to pod, how to rap, how to do this and do that while you're missing out on this. It wasn't important to me because that wasn't shown to me. You know what I mean? I didn't have that in me. Like, that, it, I didn't have nothing poured into me. Yeah. You know, like I said, mom's was just focusing on raising up. She didn't have time to do all the, yeah. the extra shits. I ain't knowing that until now, though. Cause it wasn't explained. I had to figure it out on my own. So, and with, with having a son, it just opened everything up. Like, damn, uh, traits. My son might have this trait. So let me learn as much as I can from my pops and what he do, how he do it. Like music. I thought I just stumbled upon music. I didn't know he did music. So you did have somewhat of a relationship with him? No. Before he passed? Yeah, 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 yeah. Before he passed. Yeah, yeah. Before he passed, but I, before that, no, not at all. What was how, what was that connection like with y'all? It was so I end up I was driving down thirty squeak block, old block, bro, driving down Cleveland, hmm. driving down squeak old block, and it was a house they was working on or something. So I'm thinking I'm driving. I seen actually I seen him before at my job. He was stealing tags from the cars in the parking lot. So I seen him, I'm like, I'm walking right past. He don't even notice me. He ain't even notice me. Wait, yo, your pop? Yes. Okay. So he used to work at Children's Mercy. Mine's worked at Children's Mercy. His uh, his other baby mom used to work at Children's Mercy as well. So I'm guessing he knows the parking lot, so he know. You know what I mean? Like, okay, let me get some tags. I don't know what he's taking them and selling them. I don't know. 
So I seen him. I'm like, damn, this nigga don't even see me. This is crazy. This is daytime? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So kept him moving. So maybe like three weeks after that, I said, I'm driving down Cleveland. I'm just so happened to be driving down Cleveland. Sometimes I just drive down that block. And um, I see him walking up the street from where Squeak used to stay at. Like, what the fuck? I said, this is my second time. Let me just pull up over on this nigga. I don't give a fuck about him. I could really beat his ass for real. From everything we didn't been through. You know, that's where I'm at. But I'm like, in my head, it's always honored our father and our mother. That stuck with me forever. It has stuck with me, period. So, see, I, I get out the car. I'm like, what's up, boy? He kind of spooked damn near a little bit. Like, he don't know what I'm about to be on. So, uh, he's like, oh, nothing walking on this house. What you want to do? I'm like, all right, all right. It's good seeing you. You know what I mean? You looking good. I'm like, hey, man, you are too, bro. I see you on Facebook. Whoop you whoop that. Hey, chill off all that, all that weights. Or you, 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 is there any more ways you need to live? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Joking and shit. I'm like, oh man, damn. So in my head, I'm like, I'm pissed, but I'm kind of happy. Like, damn, this is pops. Yeah. You know what I mean? After that, uh, I just see him on the internet. That was our last in person conversation. So I see him. Uh, he, you know, he had comment on my Facebook or whatnot. I ended up getting COVID. So when I when I got COVID, he ended up inboxing me just randomly, just like, hey, what's up? Just checking on you. Uh, if you try to hit me, I ain't, you know, I'm sick. I'm like, that's crazy. I'm sick as fuck too. You know what I mean? I'm in a hospital now with COVID. He's like, yeah, I'm fucking, I got this gout bothering me. Uh, pissing black. Woo -de woo this, woo -de woo that. So in my head, I'm like, damn, I'm fucked up though. I'm really thinking I'm about to die. And this motherfucker. So I'm thinking about all the shit I could have did right. This, that, and the third. Like, I'm really feeling crazy in this motherfucker. This is the first time of COVID when it first hit. So I'm like, God damn, this is nuts. Like, I'm about to just go right here. It's cold as fuck in here, too. You know what I mean? This is all I'm thinking. I'm looking at the ceiling, boy. It's cold, bro. God damn. So um, end up getting out, hit him up, check on him, see how you doing. He ain't answering. So uh, hit him up again, he ain't answering. So I just left it alone. In my head, I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? Like, you, you pissing black, it's already in the back of my head. Like, you know what I mean? So that, that ain't good. So like, uh, probably two weeks later, I get a random ass phone call. Like, yeah, uh, they said they found your daddy dead in a, in a, um, in a band of house. He been dead for three weeks. So I'm like, what? So now I'm like, the fuck you mean he dead? Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? It was smoking and somebody pop. Like, I don't know what's going on. She's like, yeah, I don't know, but he, he had my money though. What? So now I don't know what you on now. So I'm, uh, I make a couple calls, see if anybody had heard it. And uh, somebody is like, yeah, I did hear about it. I don't know. Let me get back with you. So uh, before I can even, I don't know how I got a, I got a hold of somebody, a uh, police station, called the police station and see if they had any, um, gave them the name, you know what I mean? And they gave me the info on where he was at. So I pulled up to the spot where he was at, you know, pulled up there and a dude pop up like, yeah, uh, you son, man, I've been waiting for somebody to hit us. Um, Man, Pops was a good dude, man. Uh, he stayed in like a house where like the elder, not elderly, I will, like old folks, they get their own level they stay on. So it's a house. Say you got, you stay down here, somebody else stay on the second floor, and then somebody else stay on mm -hmm. the third floor. It was one of them, I don't know what you call that. I, I know what you're talking about. But it was one of those things. He was like, bro, Pops was never here. Um, he. Paid everybody's rent in here. He was like, he paid everybody's rent. He was never here, though. He said, he might come in here, you know what I mean? You might hear some action upstairs on the third floor. If you know what I mean by action, you might hear that in the middle of the night. But other than that, you know, he come in here, leave with his woman, and keep it moving. You know what I mean? Pay our rent, keep, you know. So he was like, 
we didn't think he was even up. You know what I mean? He was like, we had a, a, a issue with rats. He said, I was cooking in the kitchen and uh, it was just a foul ass odor. But he's like, we had a rat problem on level two. So he's like, yeah, we got that fixed. And you know, that was that. So he was like, uh, we just kept having that smell though. You know what I mean? And he's like, like I said, Pops was never here. So he's like, we go up to the third floor and um, try to open the door. He said it was locked. Pops had changed the lock compass. So we can't even get in there. You know what I mean? So pry the door over. So he was in there dead, decomposed. So it was so bad. You couldn't smell nothing. You couldn't check. So even when I went up there, I tried to like grab something just for keepsakes and whatnot. It was so foul in there. I couldn't even grab like anything. So I grabbed his tissue and remember the odor was on there that bad. Like I could smell that smell. Now, like that's how bad that smell was. So I couldn't even. So we had big crates full of uh, music, uh, turntables, um, hats. You know what I mean? Just all kind of shit, bro. Um, I don't know how we got here, but so from there, it made me wanna like, damn, bro, nigga just gone. So I was trying to link up with him on Father's Day to take a picture of me, him, and my son. So he couldn't do it. He was like, bro, I like, I, I can't. You know what I mean? I'm like, so yeah. He's like, bro, I just treated y'all so fucked up. I just can't. I can't even stomach to look at you. He's like, I love you. Still love you. Your wife, your, your moms, your, your son. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel fucked up. You know what I mean? He was like, bro, um, proud of you. So I couldn't make the wedding. Couldn't make this, you know what I mean? I feel bad for what the fuck I called y'all when I did to y'all, you know? So he was like, um, just couldn't do it. Called me on my birthday crying, you know what I mean? Like, bro, I couldn't, you know what I mean? But I'm proud of you. Um, keep it moving, you know what I mean? Not keep it moving, like, gone, but like, keep doing you, you know what I mean? So I'm like, God damn. So I wonder what it made me want to, because I forgave, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't. It is what it is. I don't know your issues you have on what made you that. So that's what made me want to, you know what I mean, rap with them to get into your history. Like, bro, so what the, you know what I mean? I mean, brothers and sisters you got, what what was going on? How was you raised? What did you, how did you pick up an instrument? What made you play first base as a left-hander? I played first base in, south, in softball and a pitcher. You know, I'm never, I'm not thinking how this ties in because I don't know. I'm thinking I learned music because I went with Bam to the lab and was dropping him off at the lab. And, but I listened to music every day since I was. What I could remember of like five and six year old is music. I hear Cameo in, in the back of my head. I hear Scarface. I can't remember nothing, but I hear that. You know what I mean? I hear music. And he used to have a little chain that had uh, like the African. It's like a black. The it's B. not a chain. They got the B. Yeah, 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 something to the nature of that. And it had the little African symbols on it, the big. And I remember that, but yeah. Well, how did you even bring yourself to even walk in that house? In that the, that apartment building? Wanting no answers. It wasn't like a eerie feeling to you, like, and then just smelling it, like, you know what I'm saying? It When my, my auntie was found, like that too and i couldn't even go down there i didn't i didn't want to see them pull her body out of there one and then like uh months after not months after days after my mama wanted to get her stuff out of there i only helped because i know my mama yeah. needed me but i really yeah. i really didn't want to go in the house because i didn't want to smell that that smell of my auntie. Yeah. So that like stuff like that humbles me. Stuff mm. like that. Hum so I embrace, I take all that in, bro. Two, I didn't really get the meat pops. So that was the one conversation as a grown up that I had with pops when he was walking up 33rd in Cleveland. Right. So when I go in that room, I'm peeping out like, then how was pops really living? I'm trying to find something new. You know what I mean? Like, damn, okay, he got his hats neat, lined up. That's so why I'm a neat freak. You know what I mean? He got everything lined up over here. This is over here. Just really seeing how he was living. Like, damn, this is the room he was living in, bro. Like, 
because I, I don't know them for real. You know what I mean? So this is why, like, all right, let me go up here. Um, so I took my stepson with me too, so he can have a sense of this shit too. Like, bro, th look, this is what we, Yeah, it's coming to all of us though, bro, but it, it, it's up to us. So don't, don't, I wanted that, that, that day to teach me like, this is gonna come, you know what I mean? And uh, for you as well, but, Make sure your son see something different. Teach him stuff so whenever you do pass, he's sad but happy at the same time. He knew he fulfilled his uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. Me and him had a relationship. He, he got stuff he can run off um, and have that I taught or certain stuff that we did he can he can learn from it, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so that's kind of what my focus is now. Do you think he took that in? No. When you were saying No, no. Okay. Well, I didn't say it, but it was unconscious. Some sometimes I lay seeds there so, and we'll go back to it. I know you're not gonna that's like you saying something a thousand times. I know you're not gonna like you starting a new job and they're like, well, I gotta tell you this. I know you ain't gonna remember it, but th it was one of those things. Yeah. Like we're gonna get back to it. Right. Do you think <sighs> I'm trying to find a way to word this without sounding Stupid. You probably won't. Yeah, it probably won't succeed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you think it made it easier for you to connect to him, connect to the person he was after death versus when he was alive, you probably would have punched on him or whatever. You probably would have felt angry behind a lot of the stuff that he's saying. Do this, Do this question make any sense? Go, go, go again. So, so you know, like, I've you don't watch a lot of movies, but I've seen movies where people, their fathers wasn't in. I don't watch the movies y'all watch. Okay, okay. Right. I've seen movies where the father wasn't in the life, but they found a way to connect later on in life or whatever. And the son thinks he wants to hear the story or whatever, or why, but he ends up just being mad because yeah, you should have been there. Okay. But. Your best connection to your father, which it seems like from talking to you and like after the funeral, how you were like just connected. Damn, my dad did music, yeah. da da da. Left hand pitcher, I mean, in yeah. baseball or whatever. Dude, I'm saying, did that make the connection easier? Being being able to connect to him easier. No, did because that... I didn't find this while he was alive or afterwards. Afterwards, that's what I'm saying, like. Because it seems like you got a stronger connection with him after death, is basically what I'm saying. Got you. Yeah. But the crazy thing is, I wouldn't have found it out in, unless he died. Because people was coming out of the woodwork, like, oh, man, your pops was... Man, bro, I didn't know this was your pops. Like, bro, we went to Lincoln, bro, and he was the... You know what I mean? So, I'm like... <sighs> So it, it, that made it a yeah. lot easier, which it, it does make me want to wish that the connection was here beforehand, yeah, for sure. So, especially seeing that y'all got so much in common. In common, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's just, but well, you know, but it teaches me to not write nobody off mm. and forgive. Like you have to, you can learn from anybody. You don't know, you know. This person might have done you wrong, but you don't know what they what they went through. Yeah. You know, so I can damn near almost forgive anything, and I try to even forgive, like, I, I try to put it in my head, but would I forgive somebody if they murdered somebody I fooled with? I think and you have to forgive? As a Christian, you have to forgive. How do you forgive that, though? Do I go into a brain and figure out what was wrong with them? Do I... Or does it matter on how they were murdered? Were they somewhere where they wasn't supposed to be at? You know what I mean? Not supposed to be at, but like, yeah. so if we going out, you know, anything can happen when you go out. So now I'm more mindful on, do I want to go over here? Do I want to go to the club? I really don't want to go to the club. If something wants to happen, I, I cannot, the story I'm like, see, bro, this nigga nigga always went out, bro, this nigga never sit down. I don't want that to be the thing, but at the same time, there's some truth into that. So I always think about that. Like I've thought about, like, say, if I got shot at the club, what would they say? 
<laughs> He's probably drunk, bro, talking shit. So I got to change the narrative before somebody create one. Yeah. So I, I think about shit too much. I think about the negative too much, actually. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's got me this far as well, too, though. So being that I, I've always moved out of love, though, I always had, you know, I literally gave a shirt off my back to somebody. Yeah. Know, like, I've done, you know what I mean? So, but... You got to make some space for you sometimes, though. I just, as a person who didn't have a father, but then found this connection after death, what was your emotion at that time finding out about it? A lot of times when you first, cause me first finding out about my auntie, I didn't process it, process it. I it's remember crazy, that it woke me up. I was just like, and let, let me just get where we need to be. It didn't hit me till later. Bro, it was weird. My mama don't even know this, bro. Um, I was ready to ride. I don't remember if you remember. You watch Power? Yeah. It was one episode where Ghost was like getting up in the middle of the night and beating up all the fucking bullies. And yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that's that. how I felt. Like, oh, man, I'm about to figure this out. Now I'm tearing somebody ass up. They ain't going to know it, though. But I'm about to go avenge every motherfucking thing. You know what I mean? So that verse on falling, that's avenge that man. You know what I mean? I was that's what I was I was on that. Like. Yeah. Um, and it's funny because we didn't have the greatest relationship. So yeah. I'm like, yeah. it's crazy. I feel like this. What the fuck is wrong with you, Nick? Like, what are you doing? I was I was ready to risk it all. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So moms is telling me stories about how I used to get bullied at school. Wow. So in my head, I'm like, oh, but who? She ain't no one. Like, like, I'm ready to look this nigga up and go, you know what I mean? And go do some crazy shit. So I'm like, oh. So they was high school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So mine was, you know, popular at school. He was popular at school, you know. So whatever happened after that happened, he was very abusive. So I was like in fifth grade. So I remember him. We damn near got whooped every day for no reason. Wait, you said your dad was there? Yes, yeah. So he was in your house when you was in yeah, elementary. But I okay. remember it's bullshit. It ain't no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, pro I remember working at the store on 27th and Prospect with him, riding one of his homies' cars. The rest is all whoopings and bullshit. Remember, he took a phone, hit moms in the eye with it, busted her eye open. And nigga, we going to the hospital. I think she went to the hospital, I believe. And then she just left everything. Took all her shit, just burned out. No. Burned out. Just cold turkey. She took all her shit from the, from the house. house. Yeah. I'm saying y'all all burned out. Right? Yeah, yeah, we oh, boogie. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Me, her and bro, boogie. Yep. Yeah. Where y'all go? I, I, don't give me the line. I don't remember. I think with yeah. her auntie. We went over uh, Davis and them. So we grew up with them. We predominantly grew up with them our whole entire life. You yeah. know what I mean? So if it wasn't my house, it was over at their house. So they stayed on 35th. So that's how I know anything about the 30s, per se. Mm -hmm. bit, you know, because these and them stayed on 34th and what? Uh, Highland. So, yeah, yeah. So you feel like it was foul play with your dad? Because for no, you to want to go beat up bullies and stuff like like Just hearing the stories. You know what I mean about what happened. But when I first got that call, he's dead in the house. This is my initial thought at first. But I don't know. I don't think it was foul play. Man, he was sick. You know what I mean? He wouldn't take care of himself. Um, they said he was supposed to have started dialysis, but he did not like going to the hospitals. You know what I mean? So I, I believe he did it on his own. Yeah. Not did it on his own. But, I get what you're saying. Yeah. And I don't know if he was tired and just said, Fuck it. You just never know because I couldn't have that conversation. You want that man, nigga. You look just like that man. You wonder, do you, did you ever think that, uh, because after you talked to him that time, or well, not multiple times when he didn't want to come to the wedding, yeah. when he didn't want to take the Father's Day picture or stuff, you think he, Obviously, he was crying about it and stuff, so there was times he had to be beating himself up. Yeah, he like, was. That's exactly what he was doing. You think he just was like, I'm worthless here? He may have just gave up on life? 
It, have you ever thought that? No, not really. But anybody that drinks so much has gave up on life. I feel like a little, a little bit. Yeah. So, and then when you don't take care of yourself, you don't think nothing gonna happen until it does. You know. So I think sometimes we just wait to the last minute, like man, if, you know, fuck it, but not like fuck it. I hope my life is over. I don't think it was nothing like that. I think you just. Some you know whatever he was doing, just caught up. Yeah, I believe. And that's so. You think that's where you got drinking from? Possibly. Yeah. You think you so when you drink, you feel like you're running away from stuff when you were drinking because you don't drink like you used to. Right. No, Is because I started off drinking, kicking it, um, running away from stuff. I could see what you're saying. Probably, I'm not going to say running away from shit, but coping. coping. Like using it as a coping mechanism. Yeah. Probably so. For, I used to get drunk and just get just belligerently dr- just drunk. You know what I mean? This is just what we came up on from school. But it's a reason you want to feel that way, right? Like, it's it's a reason. Like, it's not like alcohol is the best tasting yeah. thing. It, it gives you a certain feeling or whatever. Once you, So there's a reason, like, without it being, like, a special occasion or something, you would, you would just feel like you got to lean on this. And I talk to you a lot, and you go through a lot of things or whatever, from what you tell me. So yeah. th- it, that's, your, that's the thing that helps you cope is the drinking. Then. Then, then, because you don't. It might... It might have been that, and you don't know it. Yeah, you know. But we was drinking and hot from in high school, just kicking it, having fun, right? So you get off work, you go chill, and you go crack you open a, a beer. I think people just do that not to be like to cope, but just to relax. If I smoked, I would probably smoke. So I think it's just one of those things in our air. It, you either smoke or drunk. You know what I mean? So. Once I started drinking, it just picked up for some reason. Maybe have got it from because my mom didn't smoke or drink, which is mm-hmm. crazy. Bro didn't smoke or drink, so I think the influence on who I was around got me on that because I, I didn't care for drinking. I was sports. Yeah, I was all sports, video games, outside. You know what I mean? Running. I was one of them. I wasn't no. I wasn't a drinker. I didn't really start. Hella drinking until I started having uh yeah right issues, yeah. so I think that possibly could. But now I could just get it and just just to give it a little edge, but just get, get you know get you a little edge to it. So I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. Yeah. I just personally, I do think it's like a, a issue trying to uh, find because you're not a person who. Well, you 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 might you may do like when you arguing with people, take like little stuff that you going on, that you got going yeah. on with people. So, but you will also never get like that until you start taking the bottle in or whatever. You and know it's what a saying? deep. It got to be a deep bottle. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I could see that. What I was gonna say, um, I had something to say about that. It's crazy. I I'm, I'm getting old. No, right, could be the bottle. We all do this. We all do that. I was in mid, about to say it and forgot what the hell I was about to say. Yeah, Montana did it. Too. That is crazy. Yeah. So yeah, um, yeah. So got to be coping because, say, like running and going to go who was my thing. So then I fucked up my knee and my ankle. Fuck, can't run. Give me a bottle, man. I'm pissed. So yes, yeah, it possibly it, it, it can be a coping thing. You you you, I've known since I've known you. Maybe I don't know what we got about twelve, ten. I don't know years maybe. Um, you've posted a lot of deaths or whatever as far as like dealing with death or whatever. Yeah, posted a good amount. One thing to have bothered you. A lot though, like one just seems to stick with you. You even made a song in dedication to him. You, you know what I'm talking about. No. You well, you got a few because you made it the uh, producer do. Then you got the boxer. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, yeah. He that one seemed to 
stick with you heavy? What was y'all's relationship? So I met him through my cousin, but we got more cool on, on a personal level because we shared the gym together. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We sh hooping. Like I understood what he was aggressive. You know what I mean? Cuz was aggressive, but he was he got a heart of steel though. Hmm. You know what I mean? So people could take, like, bro, what's wrong with dude? Like, no, nah, bro, he's just aggressive. This is this is not how he, you know what I mean? Don't take how hard he worked for who he is. That's not what he he ain't on that. Because when I met him, I, I thought the same thing. Like, bro, what's up with dude, bro? But he got a heart, he's just rough, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I just took to him with gym stuff, like even eating, he ate healthy. I mean, if I'm at McDonald's, like, bro, why your fat ass always at McDonald's, bro? Why are you even going to the gym? Like, just don't even go to the gym no more, bro. You know, no matter of fact, you going, you running 20 miles. So, like, bro, who are you talking to? You, But he'll hold you accountable like that. And he worked hard. He just had a rough upbringing. You know what I mean? Boy, you want some, uh, bro, I need some socks. I got you. I'm about to go to shit. I'll go on Kmart right quick. I'll go grab them. He come out a hundred pairs of socks. Mm -hmm. So he got a heart behind. He about to go do this. You be like, bro, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, bro, you can't walk in there and just grab. Like, what? What every day? You know what I mean? He had a heart up still. He was just rough, bro. You know, so. As I needed him, he needed me as well. So certain stuff I might need, he'd go, oh, you need a blender? Oh, shit. All right, so he lasts. Now I got, well, I got 20 of them. Like, bro, why do you have 20 blenders? Bro, do you want the blender or not? You're not about to use it. No, I don't even know why you want it. Like, you're about to be just fat for the rest <laughs> of your life, bro. You just go to the gym and just leave the gym and go eat. You know what I mean? He mm -hmm. was on that. So I respect that mm -hmm. part of it. Like, bro, you need to hear it. Somebody won't say that to you. You know what yeah. I mean? You might think it like, bro, bro, you just stay in the drive. Do everything you talk to this nigga in the drive, too. You might think it, but might not say it. You know what I mean? Not to say you won't say it, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> bro, this nigga's oh Yeah, I got you. He going to, you know, so he just be needing somebody to listen and not say nothing. I think everybody needs that. Yeah. Without judging, just let people talk. Mm -hmm. You know, they just need to vent sometimes. I don't need you to judge. I know what I'm doing is wrong. So I've seen his transition into getting better. But while he was getting better, Everything fucked up was loading up too for him. So I tried to be there as much as possible without fucking up my shit. You know, so he would text me like, bro, I, I, I'm i about to go, bro, don't do that. Bro, these niggas got me fucked up, bro. I got to, bro. Man, fuck that nigga ain't gonna do it. I said, bro, you don't have to do it, bro. Just ignore that shit, bro. You got $12,000 over here. You got me holding, bro. Fuck that money. You got some money, bro. Like, don't worry, you know. So trying to get him out of that stage and just know knowing people's boiling points, I make them do some stuff that they don't really need to do. So like I said, your negative actions, I feed off of it to make me not do it mm -hmm. and know I can get that way. And uh, you, you can just trick your whole life, bro, over just one decision yeah. that you don't have to make. So I try to be there as much as possible for people who don't have that 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 willpower. Yeah. You know, he was one of them ones where I would go to as many fights as possible. Go, you know what I mean? But you can only do so much, bro. Yeah, you said people only uh people sometimes just need you to listen. Yeah. I had I I learned that late in life, probably within the last uh probably three years. I always thought people, when they tell you stuff, they wanted some type of yeah, response. So sometimes I'm just even searching for a response because you like, I don't want to let you down. Let me come up with some type of response. But I do find that I'm learning how to balance that. Okay, this is well. Even when um uh people like even when it comes to your music, sometimes I'll ask you, so do you want me to? Yeah. Yeah, or do you want me to just listen to it? So the same with that. You talked about him being uh, straightforward with you, with stuff. But is that because you you connected to him because 
Did you see you in him? Because you were kind of like that with Bam, right? When you first met Bam, hey, pull your pants up. You, ain't, you know, yeah, I didn't like say it like that, but not really. Like if you fool with somebody, I fool with. I fool with you pretty much. So like we shared the same. You know, we're in the gym. We hoop. I fool with boxing a little bit. He box. So we just kind of. It was through that. It wasn't no really just anybody that work hard. Like I gotta, you know what I mean. Um, I fool with. I mm -hmm. fool with you if you just work. So, Cause sometimes you don't have the talent, but if you work hard, it, it out. I'm not gonna say it outweighs that, but it's it's more joy, and somebody just working hard rather they win or lose. Mm -hmm. Opposed to the people that got all the talent in the world lose and they make a thousand excuses. Mm -hmm. Like bro, I don't want to hear that, bro. You stack with five people on your squad. You lost to dudes that just work hard. Just work hard. You don't know what can come out of that. So I, I fool with just anybody that works hard. You uh, well, not anybody. But well, we talking about working hard. That's a, you know what? That's another place we can go. Because when you are, when it even comes to music, you constantly putting out music. And this is not to talk about music, but when you look at a lot of your titling, music is my outlet. Fake love, real, real hate, fake, fake, fake love. So when you say music is my outlet, that's when you first started to let, be able to let off some of the steam or some of the things not that you're first, going through. But music is one of those things to where I let the steam off at. Yeah. Instead of doing something stupid, I can go to the lab, which could in a way be stupid too. Why is that? Because I'm running away from my issues. So I'm going to the lab, spending two and three hundred dollars with no problem, which is an issue. Mm. So it's an outlet, but at the same time, you're gonna have to get away from that and attack your issues, and not just use this as an outlet and grow to love it more. As would you? Say? No, that, that was, as a person who speaks on communication, you, not me, yeah. speaks on communication a lot. When did you start communicating your problems with thy person, with the person? Because when you say running away from the issues is running to the uh, yeah, yeah. the studio, I would imagine you wasn't talking to that person or I'm still trying to I'm still is. trying to get to that because you can talk to people, but if I don't hear what I want to hear. I'm going to go off. Not go off, but I got to be able to, to talk, let you talk, hear what you're saying. Well, why would you think that? I shouldn't do that. Yeah. So let you get what you get out. So until I can learn to talk effectively, let you talk effectively, the communication is still going to be out. So as much as me, I'm looking at communication by just bringing it up. That's not communication. Mm -hmm. You know, just because you brought it up, cool. But like, say I do bring it up and now we talk about it and now I make you feel like, bro, I don't even want to talk to you, bro. Every time I try to talk, you always got the answer. So what I'm going to say something for? Yeah. You know, so to be able to talk and just really effectively talk and I haven't mastered that yet. So the communication ain't there like I thought it was, you know. Mm -hmm. So until I can really learn to just shut up, let somebody talk, and, and go from there. Like it's not the communication is just not a one yet. Yeah, big homie. Yeah, as a title, what do you think? Cause you you you, when you listen to the music on there, it's a lot of people talking as if they're big homies. As far as like with guidance and all of that, what do you think it takes to be a big homie? Just giving any information that you know. I feel like. Any information. Any information. Mm -hmm. Any information. Yeah. Uh, not not saying that that's 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 the end all be all, but any information that you got that could help me, and that could stop you from doing something. Mm -hmm. That's acting, and you have to. I, I can't even say you gotta be walking in those shoes because I could be walking in those shoes, and this is why I'm telling you not to do it because I'm walking in them and I don't even like the, the life I got to live right now because I'm walking in these shoes. Yeah. Like, I don't like when people be like, well, 
Practice what you preach. Not all the way. I don't like that all the way. Right? That's right. Say I'm the most hood nigga on, on earth. But mm-hmm. I'm telling you, hey, bro, don't do not do that. Go to school. Go do this. Do that. Do this. Got you. Just because I'm the, you know what I mean? I'm telling you from experience what I'm going through now. I don't like to have to look through my rear view. I got to do this. I got to not mm-hmm. try. I live my life not trusting nobody. Not, you know, so certain things, certain quotes get misled gotcha. if it's not explained, you know. So just any positive information being able to correct and, and, and then you allowed to be corrected as well because some people sit on that pedestal to where you are oh, I'm a big dog mm. and you can't tell you nothing no, no you should be able to tell me where I'm fucking up at too you know what I mean without me feeling away yes. like, you know what yeah, yeah you're right yeah. you know so just be open mm. and that carries over into your children too right absolutely yeah, but like I think some people where some people screw up is that it's the, like you gotta like know how to balance it when you're talking to your kids and talking to other people. Like you can't talk to other people like you talk to your kids, but you can still play as a big homie to them. Or I'ma just leave it at big homie to them instead of trying to find a better word. That may be a lack of better phrases, but. Now, when we talk about fake love, real hate, and you title some fake love, real hate, is that because, and I know you receive it, but you do you do you feel like you've also given it too, like the fake love? Yeah, for real sure. Hate, you know? Some some songs I be talking about me. It don't be about nobody else. Uh huh. It be me. Uh huh. Like dog, come like you cut it out too. Like you around this because it is. But we're just wired like that now to where we. Oh, boy, that was hard. That was hard. Like, no, it wasn't. Yeah. I don't think it was, but if I tell you the truth, you can't really accept it. Then you're going to think I'm hating. So it's like, but it, it's a lot of fake love and real hate out here, though. Like, people just fool with you because you got the juice. Yeah. It's fake. And they really be hating you, which is why how you hear some of these stories about, oh, that, who did that? No. I thought they was... He was envious of you the whole time. You know what I mean? Because imagine you winning the podcast award, right? And people really hating that. But they was, you know, they've been in your corner like, yeah, boy, I hope you do this. I hope, boy, I, yeah. And don't mean it, though. Like, we got to get out of that. Like, either hate me, like, really just, you know what I mean? Just tell me that. Not that you hate me, just tell me, like, bro, I don't really want you to win, but, bro, I'd rather you win than anybody else. Yeah. This is just an example. No, I get what you said. You know, uh, we, we're all secretly in in um competition. Instead of taking this thing and really, you know what I mean, joining. So we're in competition with ourselves when we can take this podcast stuff and help out everybody. Mm-hmm. Why are we in competition with the next one? Mm-hmm. It don't even make sense. We should be able to have everybody get on these pods and spread information out. Of course, have fun, but yeah. like, it should be like, okay, I got this from that. Oh, okay, oh, I can't wait to go here and do it on that pod. Oh, they they got, oh, yeah, I can't wait to hear it. And say, like, God, damn, how they get, I wanted him, bro. You know what I mean? Sometimes it ain't show, it's not show, um, what's the word for it? It's not show season. Away. Certain seasons be for certain, you know what I mean? Like, you'll have your season. Like, I feel like I had my, and then some people, they get the season and can't even handle it. You didn't even, so now when you get it, like, oh, I'm cool on this, bro. You know what I mean? Imagine LeBron, like, when he sit out, like, boy, he got to do this, do that. Oh, no. He spent a million on, he spent a million on the car. He spent it, uh, he spent it on his body to get him to be able to function 20 years. Like, like you don't want that seat. Of being number one, it looks like it's because it's a shiny crown. It's few rings. It's a lot of people oh. looking at you or whatever. You think it's just as simple as being there, but it's not. It's a lot of work into it. Bro, it's a lot of stress. It's look a lot how of- good he is, bro. They made it a point to say, "Bro, this is the first year LeBron wasn't even voted an MVP. Why y'all even talk? He's not even in the MVP race. Why y'all even bring him up?" Mm-hmm. 
how good do you have to be for somebody to bring you up? Like, you know what I mean? So it be that. That's like, bro. Really so it's not easy being in that position. So spread that love. If you spread that love out and everybody, like us with the pod, TJ was doing everything. So now that he's not around and we having to do, you like, oh, he was a true. <laughs> we all could have done more to, 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 to pass the buck a little bit. So to take the pressure off of one person, you know, you might be good at going in the inboxes. I might be good at going out in public. You know what I mean? We all moved as a, not to say that you can't be better at moving in public. Uh, I can be better in editing. TJ can be better at going in inboxes. Like we all need to keep learning, you know, uh, if we want to make something work. So. You you may that that could that fake love real hate connects to that lyric. I had a Judas so close that I arrived with my rival. Could you talk about people being like so close to you acting like they fuck with it, but they really don't? And you know, people uh, act like they want you to win, push you up to a certain point, but they want they don't want to see you pass them. Once they see you look like they look like you passing them, they start to hate. And then a lot of times it, you're looking at it the wrong way. It's not that I'm passing you. I'm really elevating us for real. Is it more hate or envy though? Envy. Because I think I would we both envy. would feel that way if somebody passing us, but it ain't more like, I don't just completely hate, but I don't, yeah. don't want to see you when it beat me. Me, you, you know what I mean? But I get every, what you're saying. We just, it's, it's just too much of a competition we got to get out of. I'm competitive. Yeah. Now, listen, I'm competitive in a way, and I truly believe this, I'm competitive in a way that I want to, I don't want to see you pass me without me giving it a fight, but I'm happy for you to pass me. You know what I'm saying? Friendly competition. Yeah, I'm friendly competitive. Friendly competition. Like yeah. Jordan, they were saying he, he pushed his, he talked crazy, but he just pushing his people. Because like, say you are winning, right? And I'm right here. It's still keeping us up here. It's holding us accountable to, to do this the right way. You know what I mean? We st It's friendly. How can I say it? We can, like us, when we all hooped, Man, did nobody want to, we talking bad to each other. You know what I mean? But it's all in good competition. Mm -hmm. We don't realize how much that kept, kept us in shape and still kept us, like if you was going to hold somebody else, you were like, oh, shit, I'm used to holding these. Dude. Like you, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? So it still sharpens us stuff uh -huh. with the competition is where we got to stay at it, stay active. So I think we start need to doing like uh, meetups and, and start, you know, like every year you got to get an inspection or you should, you got to get your tags right. You know what I mean? We got to we gotta reiterate that to see where people's heads is at, you know, yeah. and kind of go from there. But that's, that's further down the line. Yeah, I'm very competitive when it comes to that stuff. And it, like you said, it keeps me sharp. It keeps me going. I, But I'm not competitive in a way to where I want to pull you down. But Because yeah. I look across the court, I can look across the court at an owl and be like, all right, let me, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, let me, let me yeah. Because yeah. there's th th two things. I don't want to leave it on the table to where I'm like, if I had to put the effort in, because when do yeah. that, or where people are saying this about the other person, like, yeah, he only got it because Damo wasn't really on it or whatever. The like, bar's nah, set. We just, you got to keep you know that bar, the bar set. Yeah, we keep it going. But because we said, we heard you talk about, um, your kids and, uh, you know, for a short period of time, the example you got on them, your mother, you spoke on her, yeah. your father, but you are married. Yeah. What is, all I want to know is what can Nick Bendo, not Nick Bendo, Nick Bradford, yeah. how does he see himself, how does, what does, do you see that you can be better at in marriage? Everything. Everything like Everything that it takes to be married. Yeah. Communication, um, better Provider, better protector, better, better lover, better everything. What do you lack most? Let's just say everything. That. No, I said most. I think 
I think everything, bro. Because when I when I think so, I shut down completely. I shut down a bit. If I feel like something ain't going my way, I shut down completely. So that probably be what I lack the most. Knowing what I'm supposed to do, and I shut it down. Like, bro, I shit until until you show me something I ain't. Like, bro, that's a that's some bitch ass shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So being more of a man and just stepping up and doing what I know what I'm supposed to do. And worry about the other shit later. Yeah. Okay. Not worry about the other shit later, but like, you do what you do, and they they're gonna follow. They're gonna follow regardless. If you do what you need to do. Effectively. Yeah. Yeah. Effectively. So, which is good in a way too, because I know I can improve on certain stuff. That will. Um. How can I say this? Like I got stuff in the tub. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I can't wait to do it, but we ain't on the same page, bro, so I ain't doing it. You know what I mean? It's been rocky for so long. You like, oh, boy, this is about to be fire once it, once it get back on the road. You know what I mean? I got so much stuff I haven't let loose. You know what I mean? So just getting on the same page, really communicating. Because it's just different. So having a wife, you just thinking like, oh shit, this is me and her. You know, they got kids, right? So even if you come in and they already got kids, you not being the first priority is going to happen. I, I didn't I realize that late. You know what I mean? So if y'all marry, y'all are one. So then y'all would both technically should be on the same page on what whatever's going on. Yeah. I wasn't living by those rules. Like, hey, no, you need to, what's up, bro? We, we, what are we doing? Oh, well, shit, I got to take care of this, the kids. Well, like, man, fuck all that, bro. Like, what's, that's where my mom was at first. Mm-hmm. Until I realized, like, bro, you really tripping over what she doing for her kids? You know what I mean? So, nothing that a, that a conversation can't solve. Yeah. But you were so deep in where, where you was thinking I got to get out of it. You know what I mean? So I've been trained to think like this for 10 years. I didn't have kids. Bro was gone. All I had was mom. So mm-hmm. I'm selfishly just only thinking about me opposed to she getting off work, she tired. Like, you do this. You know, get, get all the clothes ready. Get this, <laughs> get that. But I ain't going to do it because we into it. Like, you know, I ain't doing it. She doing it. Fuck that. If have- she's so dope, she going to do it regardless without a nothing in the world. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? She's going to do it regardless. She's going to maximize her time the best way she can. Do we all got flaws? Yes. Yeah. So, and this is where I got to, where she likes at, this is where I need to be stronger at. Where I'm weak at, this is where she's strong at. So, you know what I mean? So, so just to be a perfect fit, you just got to make it, you just got to make it perfectly fit though. Mm-hmm. Why do you, why do you feel like you're you're uh, struggling with it for so long though? You get what I'm because saying? Because I'm used to doing whatever I wanted for Got so it. long. Got it. So I always I didn't want I didn't care for getting married at all ever in life, right? Mm-hmm. Let alone being with somebody with kids. Like I did not want to be with anybody with kids ever. So. Everything I said I wouldn't do is what I end up having. So now you got to retrack your train of thought to how you are already thinking. So it's just taking me so long to really do that because I'm stubborn for one. Two, I had to really figure out stuff on my own, literally on my own for real. Like I said, I didn't handle it. Like, Nick, what are you doing? Like, you know what I mean? Not to say I can't blame that on nobody else, Mm -hmm. but I wasn't around. I ran away from where I was. I grew up in the church. So I started running away from the church, which is what I needed, where I need my wisdom from. So I was going off of feelings instead of wisdom. So once you do that, you you, you fucked. So now I'm trying to lean more on the wisdom and weed out the feelings. Are you still struggling putting God before things? You know what I'm saying? Like asking him to take control of this. Are you trying to control everything yourself? 
Because if you're struggling in this area, you obviously need his help. But a lot of times we keep going towards it ourselves. So I ask for the help, right? Pray something, right? I pray it. Oh God, man, please stop me from drinking, dog. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, bro, what are you doing? Yeah. So he shows me signs. I ain't gonna say signs. Like I get, I get a. Uh, Cuz be putting me on punishment and shit. You know, he'll put shit. You know what I mean? Put, put. All right. Strip you down, bro. For everything you, you, oh, you want that? Bet. Yeah, give it to me. Take it. Oh, you want to do that? Bet. I got you. Here, have two. But all right, tomorrow your ankle will be swollen as fuck tomorrow. Mm. All right, fuck. All right. All right, listen. Nick, why are you reverting back to that? Why you, get you some rest? I'm gonna go go hoop. All right, got this thing going. I'm gonna go hoop. Sure, I know I need to be here. I got an hour to get here. I'll go hoop. Wow, knee fucked up. Mm -hmm. Nick, I told you to sit down. You don't wanna listen? I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna let you do whatever you wanna do, but you don't listen. I'm gonna keep, to, I'm gonna keep stripping your ass. So I, I've learned that, like, uh, oh, okay, that's what's going on. Mm -hmm. So to, to, to be able to decipher that, I see that now. Yeah. As a person that's been around you for quite some time now, I can say I've seen you in your modes of, like, not really caring to be bothered or whatever, but I've never seen sadness on your face. I've never seen, obviously, I've never seen you cry. What, can you remember ever crying to God about something like a real cry, like being to yourself? Because obviously you really don't cry in front of people for real too much yeah. if you do. Uh, but we all need to, because I've, I've grown up, I've never been a person that really cried in front of people. But as I've gotten a little older, I've let my daughter see me cry or cry in front of Miko one time. But before that, there was times where I just needed to let it out to God, where I kept it bottled in for so long. Now, you know, and I, I curse at him, not really the actual cuss words, but I'm getting at him like, you know what I'm saying? What's up, Kev? So my cry is different. My cry is the bottle. Mm. My cry is music. So that's the leaner. My cry is the gym. Yeah. My cry, I don't cry. The, the crazy thing is I cry with stupid shit. I know I ain't gonna say stupid. Uh, Bam put a post, he went to go see his daughter. He got sort of tearing up because I know how much that means to him. Mm. I caught up with stuff like that. Um, we had a graduation, the motherfucker walking across the aisle. We, we didn't even think it was gonna make it. I'm tearing up. I'm about to really, I'll be right back. I'm about to go pee right quick. I'm about to go piss right quick. I'm like, really, like, shit, God. My allergies is going crazy. You know what I mean? No, nigga, I'm. It hit me quick, you know what I mean? Hey. Um, you to win the awards. Like, I would probably tear up over that. Not to say I will, but, like, stuff like that. I get what you're saying. You going up there, like, dude, dude worked so hard at this, bro. He went up here and got, he did it. You know what I mean? He's stubborn. He didn't want to do this. He still didn't fucking promote. Like, I asked him, he's not going to promote. He's irritating as hell. But he ended up winning. You know what I mean? So, like, the... But I'm promoting. I'm, not not the flyer, though. Okay. Uh, so, you know what I mean? Little stuff like that. I I get teary-eyed over that. Movies. Like, oh my God. Damn. Oh, Will's <laughs> made it. You're like, nigga, you crowd over fucking. Yeah, bro. Uh, it just, yeah, I get chill bumps and all kind of shit, bro. You know what I mean? Championships. Bruh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, come yeah, the championship? He be peewee. Like, what the fuck? Like, bro, you crying over the. But the stuff you think I would cry over, I'm not. Yeah. It, it, it feeds me. Makes you know sense. what I mean? Yeah, so. That's I'm a bitch, baby. Nah, you ain't. <laughs> you a bitch if you don't cry and you really want to. Maybe. I don't know. That, it's funny you say, like, the smallest thing, because I, like, I be like, bro, I feel this yeah, way. Like, I'm over like, this the... little small. Like, I was just watching Bel Air the other day, and it, it wasn't even like nobody died. <laughs> It was. I think. I think he helped the dude at the end, and they. It was just like seeing black dudes rocking with yeah. each other like that. And I was just. I'm like, bro, why am I emotional? This Man. is weird, bro. Uh, no, it was Dave. 
Never mind. You, know, you probably don't know what day it is. Oh, uh, the what little dicky show? If it's something yeah. happened on there, but yeah. Um, in closing, can you leave us with some words, the people with some words, just to close this out? Yeah, I'm gonna reiterate this, bro. Don't move in your feelings, bro. Move off wisdom. I feel like we all know the right things to do. And we get it in our, and we don't care what happened while we're in our feelings. We say whatever, do whatever, but we don't think about how wise stuff is to not do it and to do it. One thing my wife do do is she won't say, if she met, she won't not, she won't say shit, right? Which is good in a sense and bad in a sense, but she's never going to say something. You know, we get mad just get the blurting off shit. You're never going to catch her doing that. You know what I mean? And that's wisdom to me. You know what I mean? So why is it not? Because she always like, yeah, it's time and place to say this and say that. You know what I mean? Like, so it is. Like, because I'll get to, oh, you, ain't, you say one word, I'm about to I'm about to hit you about 15 Texas. Like, wow. Little stupid motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. Well, you don't never, no, you ain't going to respond, whatever. I'm still taking to you right back. You know what I mean? Like, all that stuff. Like, bro. Get out of your feelings and just be more wise. Have more wisdom, I say that. I get into more arguments just over not not not, not per se winning the argument, but like somebody could be wrong and me just like, bro, you hella wrong. You know what I mean? Like, bro, like, and I'm trying to explain why you and you can't explain that. Just Nick, shut up. You're not neither one of y'all gonna win this. And you just keep going. Somebody gotta have the last word. It's not wise, you know what I mean? So just, just like I said, just be more wise, have more wisdom, and get out of your feelings. You wear your heart on your sleeve. Like Keith said, he wears his heart on his sleeve. I'm a cashier. Of course I can. Both you sleeves. Can huh? Both, Both sleeves. sleeves. Yeah. He also said you black ass it either, but that's not. I heard that. You don't just don't get on that do rag, but I just, yeah, like, I just if you want to read, if you want to say something back there, it's all good. I'm gonna use my wisdom here. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just you know, gotta let them have that. You know, hey, bet we've had our ups and downs, and we're probably still gonna have ups and downs or whatever. But uh, I am glad that we are sticking around. Jeez, <laughs> oh my. With, we're sticking around and uh, cause we could have easily just, you know, called it quits on each other. But I can say you've helped me grow in areas, whether it was good or bad, whether it was something not, cause you know how you say you can learn from somebody yeah. bad or the good. So I have learned from being with you and being around you and I, I appreciate you. I love you. I'm glad you're here. You set me up for this. I love you stuff, bro. To, to, you don't ahead, have bro. to say it. You don't you have to say it. The goal is to leave. Why would you look me in my eye like that? Why wouldn't I? Why you said that? You did it on purpose, though. Of course I did it on purpose. I'm lost on why I wouldn't do it on purpose. You like you really like stuck the look in the eye, though, when you said that. How you stick a look in the eye? How you did it. Like, yeah. I love you. Like, dog, yeah, I appreciate you. I love you. <laughs> yeah, is that you said crazy? That Why was? you do the lip like that? That's how you did it, <laughs> no, bro. I, I had to do my lip. I, I, it's big, okay. The two pigs stop moving, and you like, I'm like, bro, what is he doing? Okay, he about to. He did. He said they all work. God, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I do love you, and I appreciate you. You like one of my. Um, you are one of my closest friends at this point, a brother at this point. I'm proud of the growth. Of course, you can grow more. Of course, I can grow more. I mean, you take it for it. Obviously, you haven't grown in this area, this this area of pause or whatever, but it's okay. You know what you're doing, but okay. The goal is to leave a lasting imprint on their minds and their hearts. <laughs> we pray you've been indelibly marked. <laughs>